Hey everyone, this is Brett here. I uh, just finished building my kids a tree house. They've been asking for it for about two years. Um, it's behind me. We're going to take a tour of it. In case you're wondering how I learned how to build a tree house, well, <laughs> this book. Ah, I can't say this book taught me everything, but it got me a good start. Black & Decker's Build Your Kids a Tree House. Um, it's got some plans in I didn't really follow, but it gives you a good idea of what kind of hardware to use, what kind of wood to use, basic setup between one tree, two trees, four trees, no trees, however way you want to do it. I chose the two tree setup. We'll see in just a second. So enjoy the video and I hope you like what you see. Here is a look at the tree house. It's got a wooden door. It's got pine siding, one by six. And there is a large window on that side and there's two other windows which we will see when we go inside but for now let me just show you the outside and there's the other side not the back but the side we have built this tree house between two large cedar trees and kind of under it this is the war zone um, this is after it's been cleaned up Meaning we still have a lot to go, but we've done a lot already <laughs> Wood scraps galore. I'm gonna climb the ladder. Our, our kids actually made the ladder I supervised it to make sure we used uh, the right hardware. We used uh, long four inch deck screws and This is two by four pressure treated lumber All right, let's climb the ladder I used vinyl that we had left over from the house for this little porch area. I would have used it for the flooring of the entire treehouse, except I didn't have enough. And let's go ahead and go up. Like I said, about ten and a half feet off the ground. We also have a pulley system we have out here. Looks like somebody pulled the rope all the way to the top. I had a knot in the rope to prevent that, and obviously somebody took the knot out. But here's the view from above. Ten and a half feet up. There's the trampoline that they think they're going to jump on from here, but not going to happen. Here's the door. Let's go inside. Okay. Standing here at the doorway. They've already got a table. For some reason a teapot in here. An open window. A room in the corner. A chair. Another chair. A fake kitchen stove. And we have a light on for good lighting for this video. It's a 200 watt bulb. Completely unnecessary. And this very large window here which opens and closes I got this window here and the one in the back that was actually one big window those two together were one window Habitat for Humanity $26 and then this large four foot wide sash window $10 can you beat that and we've got wood side pine wood siding this, is, this siding actually came from the roof of a house being torn down I did the entire house this way. Walk to the other end of the tree house. We have a fan going in here. We have permanent electricity via this extension cord that comes to the floor. And we have it running over here to plug in things. I think they're even going to bring a little VCR TV up here. For once in a while, spend the night, watch movies at night. As you can see, there's lots of little cracks in the in the wood siding. I'm going to fill all this in. This has been filled in a little bit. I'm going to fill in all these cracks with caulk and spray foam, depending on how large the crack is. Some of the cracks are pretty large. It's going to have spray foam. But there's the door. There's the little deck. Let's close it. But. That's our tree house. And uh, there's a little hook here for tying the rope to when you want to bring stuff up that's heavy. Actually, the kids brought this table up 